eyes are on Alabama as the state is set to execute Kenneth Smith tonight by nitrogen gas. It'll be the first time that method has ever been used in the U.S. and it'll be the state's second attempt at executing Smith after a failed lethal injection in 2022. Smith's been on death row almost four decades. News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beardtemple heard from protesters, supporters and the attorney general. The state says Smith's execution is long overdue while death penalty opponents protest the method. Smith was convicted of the 1988 murder for hire of Elizabeth Senate. Prosecutors said Smith and another man were paid to kill Senate by her husband who wanted insurance money. Senate was fatally stabbed 10 times. When you look at the heinous nature of this crime, a woman stabbed over eight times, beaten to the point that her body couldn't be recognized, death penalty is appropriate. Attorney General Steve Marshall says he's confident the execution goes forward. Very confident that through the courts that uh, the, the objections of Mr. Smith will be rejected and feel confident that, that the Alabama Department of Corrections is prepared to proceed with this execution. A jury previously voted to sentence Smith to life without parole, but the judge overrode that, sentencing him to death. In 2017, Alabama outlawed judicial override, but that change isn't retroactive, a point raised by protesters that Smith would not be sentenced to death in a trial today. Former U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Alabama, Jay Town, says laws change over time. We abide by the laws. Uh, that we need to follow at the time of the event, the time of the trial, the time of the sentence. Town expects Smith's appeals to continue, but believes the execution will be carried out. Steve Marshall, the attorney general's office, um, are on the right side here, and I do believe he will be put to death tonight. Meanwhile, death penalty opponents have protested all week, saying a second execution attempt using an untested method violates the Eighth Amendment. That's not cruel and unusual punishment. Uh, I don't know what could be more cruel or more unusual. Opponents also say a lack of transparency surrounding the new method should be enough to halt the execution. Reverend Jeff Hood is Smith's spiritual advisor and will be with him in the chamber. Hood has said he's concerned for his own life should something go wrong. I have no idea whether there will be anybody there to resuscitate me or the guard if something happens. Smith and Hood said in a statement today that, quote, the eyes of the world are on this impending moral apocalypse. Our prayer is that people will not turn their heads. We simply cannot normalize the suffocation of each other. And News 19's Lorden Layton is one of five media members to witness that execution. Should it go through, we will keep you updated on air on WHNT.com and our news app on the very latest.